from. And in the day when I cried, 
thou answerest me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet has he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Thou, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thou mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. I read you Psalms 138. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. We ask that you lend us your voice in helping us to sing. God be all thou, great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. God be
The Lord help enough to come out tonight to give you praise one more time, Lord. And now, Lord, I just want to say thank you right now, Lord. Lord, thank you for this revival, Lord, that we've been running this week, Lord. Lord, thank you for the speakers, Lord, that have been in this right now, Lord. Lord, if somebody here, Lord, needs you, Lord. Lord, I don't know who it is, Lord. But, Lord, I know one thing. We all need you for one thing. We all need you for one thing, Lord. But, Lord, we all need you for one thing. Come tonight, Lord. Lord, I'm glad that you touch him right now, Lord. Touch him that he'll deliver a word for us, Lord. We need it right now, Lord. Lord, I ask God for Galilee, Lord. We going through this difficult time right now, Lord. Lord, I ask that you will bless us with the passion that you want us to have, Lord. That you need us, Lord. That we need a leader, Lord. Lord, we need a leader right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, this brings our short devotion to a close, but we ask you to continue to pray in your hearts. And now turn your hands on.
right now. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. First, giving reverence, honor, and obedience to Christ, who is the head of all our lives. Yeah. Reverend Keys, to our pulpit guests for tonight. Members, visitors, and friends, I welcome you to the Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, please feel free to let one of the members or one of the ushers know. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. This is round three of our revival. I hope and pray that everyone has gotten something out of it. I have been under the weather, so I've missed it. And thank God I feel a lot better tonight that I can come and get me some of what you all have been getting this week. Uh, I would like to say on tomorrow, uh, our own Sister Dolores' sister will be laid to rest in Dallas, Texas. So please, ma'am, please, sir, please remember Sister Dolores and her family in your prayers. Because we know how much Sister Dolores means to Galilee. And so I know she would love to know that we were thinking about her in this time. Are there any choirs or solos? If not, I'll turn your rhythm keys. I'll sing. I'll sing. <laughs> I'll do a solo. I'll tell the choir. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Y'all please stand. Thank you. But 
Amen. Amen. One for the Father, one for the Son, and truly one for His Holy Spirit. Believe me when I tell you it's another day's journey. But somehow I'll be glad about it. Yes, sir. The Lord has been extremely good and kind to all of us. The record is He's been better to us than we've been to our very own selves. I don't know whether you know it or not, but let me just tell you. You can't pay the Lord for all that He's done. What we can do, we can pause from our busy schedule, fall down on our rusty knees, and tell the Lord, thank you, son. Yes, sir. My grandmother would say to me all the time, if you tell him much obliged, it means the same thing. God is worthy to be praised. I thank God again for this privilege as well as this opportunity. And whenever there's preaching time, it's praying time. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, if you will look with me and the passage of scripture coming from the book of John. John chapter 14. Verse number 6. John 14, verse number 6. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you will, look at your neighbor tonight. Even if you got a grudge against them, go ahead and look at them. Even if you've been talking about them, you owe them the right to look at them tonight. It's all right. You shouldn't have sat beside them if you didn't want to look at them. But say to your neighbor, 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 you just can't get around Jesus. God bless you. I want to talk on the subject, you cannot get around him can't get around. We give honor to our God, to his son Jesus Christ, and certainly to the Holy Spirit uh, that keeps us. We certainly ain't give honor again to your, your pastor and the first lady for speaking my faith. All right. Right. And uh, you have to learn how to praise God for what he's getting ready to do. All right. Amen somebody. And certainly again to all of these preachers and pastors and ministers on the roster tonight. Thank God again for them, all minister wives as well. And we certainly give honor to all of the officers and certainly to the ushers and to this choir who have blessed us in a tremendous way. And certainly again to this musician. And I was always taught to give the drama some, so to the drama as well. And certainly again to all of you, the Lord's children. Uh, my uh, wife didn't come with me tonight. Uh, she works during the campaign season. And uh, she's working diligently. And so she's doing her job and I came to do my job. Good. Right. And uh, so we're, we're, we're good. We high five each other for I left the house. She was getting ready to go to her job and I... I was getting ready to go to mine. She couldn't wait on me, and I couldn't wait on her. <laughs> All right, and so the Lord is still, still blessing in a tremendous way. Amen. Brothers and sisters, believe me when I tell you, you can get around a whole lot of things in life. Uh, but I've discovered that you just can't get around Jesus. And many times, some of the stuff that Jesus does not approve we try to go around the back door as if he don't know we're going through there. Or if he don't know that we're indulging in it. But Jesus knows everything. You cannot catch him by surprise. You cannot slip up on him. 
You cannot astonish him, uh -huh. and neither can you amaze him because he knows everything uh -huh. even before it comes to pass. Uh -huh. And believe me when I tell you, brothers and sisters, Jesus is somebody to know. Yeah. Many times we try to figure Jesus out, but you can't figure him out. I hear people say all the time that he's trying to tell us something. Uh -huh. He's so sovereign that he don't try to do anything. Either he's telling us or he's not telling us something. But he don't attempt to do anything because he accomplished everything that he set out to do. And if you ever want to do a rundown on Jesus, you can find him in the very first five chapters in the book of Matthew. Y'all got a moment? In chapter one, you will discover that that is his bio. Because it talks about that Jesus come down through 42 generations and it deals with all of his kinfolk. Come on, somebody. So in chapter 1, you will discover his bio, but in chapter 2, you will discover his birth because it talks about that him being uh, in coming down and implanted into the Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit. And she carries Jesus for nine months until it was time for him, uh, for her to give birth of him. Are y'all in this house? Right. So in chapter 1, you will discover his bio, but chapter 2, you will discover his birth, and in chapter 3, you will discover his baptism. Because it is in chapter 3 where he comes to John. And John says, I'm not worthy to stoop down and unlatch your shoelace. And Jesus says, suffer it to be so. So brothers and sisters, but then in chapter 4, you will discover his battle. Because the Bible says he was led into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And anybody in here, if you just follow the pattern of Jesus, you will discover that these same things happen to believers. Are y'all in this house? If you ever want the devil to get on your track, go ahead and give your life to God. Get baptized and all hell going to break loose. Anybody in this house discover the fact that when you were in the world, it seemed like you had it going on. But the moment you gave your life to Jesus, seemed like the bottom fell out. Come on, somebody. And here Jesus here, brothers and sisters, he gets baptized in chapter 3, and the battle shows up in chapter 4. Are y'all in this house? And you got to understand that the devil does not mind when you do stuff under cover. But oh, when you try to publicize it, you try to let the world know whose side you're on, try to let the world know who you are and who you are, then the devil gets busy because he wants to prove that you're alive. Come on, somebody. Talk to me in this house. And you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, that uh, if you discover his bio in chapter 1, you discover his birth in chapter 2, his baptism in chapter 3, and, and his battle in chapter 4, and chapter 5, blessing got to come. Talk to me in this house. Because you run into and you bump into the beatitude, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are they that mourn, and, and they that bless, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Blessed are the children of God. Talk to me in this house. Brothers and sisters, you have to understand that in those first five chapters, you will discover Jesus in a nutshell. Yes. Are y'all in this house? Yes, and I don't know how you feel about it, because some of you may know of him, but you may not know him. And it's all right to know of him, because Black Brother Mayor knew of him and still got blessed. Come on, somebody. But it's a whole lot blessing when you know him, brother, than just know of him. Come on, somebody. Oh, brothers and sisters, I don't know how you feel about it. I heard when Paul said, I long to know him. And when Paul says, I long to know him, that word know in the Greek, brethren, it simply means that it comes from this word called gnoskos. Which means you know, that uh, I don't know you like a friend. But I know you like a man knows his wife who got some children. Are y'all in this house? Some of y'all uh, grown folks will catch you when you get home. I said, I don't know you like a friend, but I know you like a man and his wife who got some children. Which means something going on. In other words, I don't know him as a friend, but I know him intimately. I got a personal relationship with him. Come on, somebody. Oh, brother, the sister, I don't know how you feel about it, but it's not right to tell folks you're going through a test. But don't don't hesitate to tell folks that Jesus is able, he's capable of turning your test into a testimony. Talk to me in this house. Oh, brother, 
and sister, y'all know I didn't come to play tonight. Brother and sister, you have to understand eh, that no matter what you do in life, you can't get around Jesus. Are y'all in this house? Brother and sister, believe me when I tell you all the stuff that Donald J. Trump is doing. Don't you, don't you sweat about that? Because he can't get around Jesus. The fella that they just, the fella that they just uh, appointed as the next justice judge. Come on, somebody. Keep the camera on. Don't, don't, don't you worry about that. Don't you sweat it. Tell your neighbor, don't sweat it. Jesus already got this stuff. Jesus is still in control. I'm not worried about Trump. I'm worried about the one who's going to blow the trumpet. Come on, somebody. Oh, brothers and sisters, he got this thing in control. I'm not worried about the Republican. I'm worried about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Are y'all in this house? Because if you got a relationship with him, you can't lose with the stuff that you use. Are y'all in this house? And brothers and sisters, believe me when I tell you that you got to be careful what you tell folks. Are y'all in this house? Be careful about the blessing that you try to tell other folks about. Because everybody don't like to know that you're being blessed. Are y'all in this house? In the same brother and sister. And I'm not going to put my folk outside the church. You got some Negroes in the church that don't want you to be blessed. Are y'all in this house? Yeah, no. I'm not talking about your, I'm not talking about your homies out there. You got some folk in your family that don't want you to be blessed. Yeah. Are y'all in this house? Yeah. And you gotta understand, brother and sister, you gotta be aware of some folk who really don't want you to be blessed. Yeah. Are y'all in this house? You gotta be aware of Satan. Because Satan don't want you to be blessed. You heard that song said the devil don't like it because I'm blessed like that. That's a true song if it ever been a song. Are y'all in the town? But then not only did you have to beware of sin, but you got to beware of sinners. Are y'all in this house? Because they already feel we ain't got uh, we ain't got much up here. They feel like we missing screws. You can't tell everybody that you're faithful going to Bible study. Faithful coming to Sunday school. And you sure enough can't faith, tell them you're a faithful title. Are y'all in this house? And you can tell when folk don't know church and they don't know ministry. Because the first thing they say, oh, y'all getting your money to the preacher. As if the preacher is the one that's writing the checks. As if the preacher is the one that's going to the bank. Come on, y'all talk to me in this house. As if they don't know protocol. And so those are the kind of folk you can't spend the whole lot of time wasting time on folk who don't Brothers and sisters, you got to beware of Satan. You got to beware of sinners, but then you got to beware of your siblings. Are y'all in this house? You ever want to see siblings fall out? Let mama and daddy die and leave a quarter more than you left somebody else. You'll see how siblings can show out against one another. But not only do you have to watch out for siblings, but watch out for your sources. Yeah. Are y'all in this house? Because you got a whole lot of folk that'll come to you and say, Child, I want to tell you this, but I can't tell you who told you. That's a source. Are y'all in this house? That's the reason I say that, that Jesus is not only going to be my source, but he's going to be my resource. Are y'all in this house? Stop listening to everybody that bring you mess. Are y'all in this house? Folk don't like see the church on one cause and you always got folk whispering around the sanctuary. You always got folk bringing the dawn uh, bringing the bone and taking the bone are y'all in this house? But the moment you tell folk where to get off at and you tell folk I don't indulge that stuff like that folks will stop bringing your mix. Are y'all in this house? But then not only should you look out for your siblings and your sources. But you gotta watch out for some saints. Because some saints, we feel like God ought to just revolve around us. Lord, bless me, Billy Joe, and no more. I hear him in their prayers. Lord, I want you to go to the uh, go to the Methodist hospital and get off on the fifth floor. 
And Lord, I want you to stop by room 5417. And Lord, I want you to just bless my mama there. Now, he done went past everybody on the first floor. Everybody on the second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. But the only person he come to bless is your mama. Come on, somebody. And some other folk got some mamas in there, too. You can't be selfish. Are y'all in this house? You got some saints that can be selfish. Saints are y'all in this house. Just want everything for themselves. But you got to understand, it's enough Jesus to go around. Brothers and sisters, Reverend, not only do you have to watch out for saints, Here's the bombs here. Sometimes you have to watch out for self. Are y'all in this house? Do you not know some of us got the worst wounds and the the, 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 the worst wounds we could have is a self-inflicted wound? Talk to me in this house. If everybody else ain't putting you down, you're putting yourself down. If everybody else ain't against you, you're against yourself. If everybody else don't hate you, you don't lie. Yourself. You got to learn how to do like David sometimes when folk don't encourage you. Baby, encourage yourself. Yes, I got to get out of here. Coach Tick says it's kind of like most preachers use it in a film. Because John 14 starts off saying, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. It says, in my Father's house are many mansions. Yes, says, if it were not so, I would have told you. Uh -huh. And he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you yes. that uh, I can come again and receive you unto myself. Yeah. And he said, uh, uh, and I go that you may know the way. Uh -huh. Are y'all in this house? Yeah, no. And I heard Thomas say, Lord, uh, how can we know the way? Uh -huh. And Jesus said, uh, I'm going to answer your question. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And I don't know how you feel about it, Galilee, but I come tonight just to tell you that you got to be careful of who you're giving all your glory to. You got to be careful who you're giving all your praise to. Are y'all in this house, sir? Because I hear folks, uh, they are promoting Buddha. But Buddha can't do nothing for slaughter. I hear folks trying to promote uh, Confucius, but uh, Confucius uh, cannot do nothing for slaughter. I hear folks trying uh, to uh, trying to promote Allah, uh, but Allah can't do nothing for slaughter. I even hear folks trying to spend a lot of time talking about Muhammad, uh, but Muhammad uh, didn't die for slaughter. Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, and I don't know how you feel about it, children, uh, but I hear folks saying uh, that you got to be careful because uh, that's what we call the New World Order. Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, but is there anybody here tonight know that Jesus makes the difference? Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, and I don't know how you feel about it, children, uh, but I thank him uh, for all that he does. Uh, because when you look at Jesus, uh, you can discover uh, that nothing can get around him. Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, is there anybody here that know him tonight uh, and have you ever tried him? Uh, and I don't know how you feel about it, children, uh, but I love him so much because uh, he is the one uh, that took uh, slaughter's uh, black soul. Uh, he is the one uh, that dipped uh, his, uh, he dipped it uh, in uh, his uh, red blood. Uh, and slaughter is the one that came out uh, white as snow. Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, and ever since then, uh, I've been shining ever since. Uh, is there anybody here tonight? Uh, no, you can't get around it. Uh, and I 
I'm surveying the issue, children, uh, and I wonder uh, why is it uh, that you can't get around this Jesus? Uh, why is it, uh, brother and sister, uh, that you can't get around him? Uh, because he's too good uh, to do anything wrong. Uh, and he's too wise uh, to make a mistake. Are y'all in this house? Uh, and I just got a few little gadgets uh, to show you tonight uh, that he is uh, everything you need. Uh, I heard it in Exodus chapter 3 uh, and around verse 14 uh, when he says, I am uh, that I am. Are y'all in this house? Uh, which means he's everything uh, that we need him to be. Are y'all in this house? Tell them boy to bring me something out of here because they're taking too long. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it, children, uh, but he's the doctor uh, in a sick room. Uh, are y'all in this house? Uh, he's not only uh, my bed, uh, but I come tonight to tell you he's my sword. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that ever tried him? Uh, the reason I know uh, I can take my mask off uh, and be just who I am in front of Jesus. Uh, and not only that, uh, he's just like alcohol. Uh, you take one drop of him uh, and he'll have you walking right. Uh, he's the hand uh, that rocks every cradle. Uh, he's my peace uh, in a midnight hour. Uh, he's my faith uh, that unlocks the door. Uh, he's an open God. Uh, he never closed, uh, but he's always open. Uh, and every now and then, uh, I have to lift up and praise him. Uh, he's better than money. Uh, heaven is on my view. Uh, he left me to reach perfection. Uh, he's the holiness God. Uh, is it anybody here uh, that know him tonight? Uh, is it anybody here? Uh, if you don't praise him, uh, I'll praise him by myself. Uh, I broke my own pump. But uh, I realized uh, it was my long clock uh, that ripped me up this morning. Uh, he woke me up this morning. Uh, he started me on my way. Uh, and if I have to praise him uh, by myself, uh, I praise him all by myself. Uh, and I'm glad to say uh, he's the star uh, that leads me everywhere I need to go. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that knows he's my light uh, in my dark path? Uh, is there anybody here uh, he's the word uh, in everything I need? Uh, Trust him uh, everywhere I go, uh, and I don't know uh, how you feel about it, uh, but he can break every chain. Uh, anybody here know uh, he can have my blood pressure if it's high blood, uh, if it's low blood, uh, if it's no blood. Uh, can't he handle it? Uh, Cause his blood uh, washes me. Uh, his blood uh, makes me whiter than snow. Uh, He's the judge that we're able to hit the gap uh, and make folks uh, do what's right. Uh, he righteous uh, for all by himself. Uh, he can fix uh, my every problem. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that feels like I feel? Uh, if he can't fix it, uh, nobody else can. Uh, he's the mouthpiece uh, that I can talk to. Uh, Still away, fall down on my knees and call him up. Won't he show up? I said, Won't he show up? He's my never son. Ain't my peace, honey. He's sweeter than honey. Anybody here love him tonight? He's my lifeguard. He's my protector. And thank God, God bless him now. Is it anybody here that love my Jesus? Is it anybody here that love my God? He's the rock of ages. I got credit with him. He's my visa. Anybody know it? Have you tried it? Help me say Jesus. Jesus, my rock. Get a good man. My bread. Get out of here, bro. You ain't gonna kill me. He came 
It's all right. My yes, sir. Doors of the church is open. There may be someone that don't know Jesus and they're part of your sin. I wouldn't leave tonight without getting to know Jesus. There's no way around. He's the best friend that you ever had. The best father. The best mother.